What up, what up, what up, YouTube? CC back today. Another weekend league game. Another top five opponent. Now, Primetime 50G has been, he's been near the top of the leaderboards every week. Uh, and this past week, he actually finished number five. However, this is not the week he finished five that we played him. This was uh, last week or two weeks ago, I believe. I think I played him in three of the four weeks. Uh, but this was, uh, this was my favorite game of the bunch that we have played. He's a very good opponent. He plays very, very cautious and very safe. I mean, he's got a good team, but hey, you can't fault someone for having a good team. So as you see there, we got the pitch life going on. You know, if you guys have been watching us for a while, you know, you know that pitch is uh, it's something that we've been on for for about a month, maybe maybe a couple more days than that. Uh, and pitch is now it's growing in popularity, right? As it won the. Uh, the recent Vegas tournament from Stevie, so congrats to him. Uh, but you know, the pitch life is where it's been at. Uh, pitch life has done very well for me. Hashtag more pitch. But he does stop us from getting seven there. Uh, so we've got to take our three. All right, so, so okay, we're up three nothing. This It's a good start, but it's not a great start. It's not exactly where we want to be. And we're going to have to try and stop him. And he runs a lot of ace wins. He makes very good reads. Like, he... It, after all the times I've played him, like he really doesn't throw the ball into traffic a lot, which is, I mean, it's impressive, you know. You've got someone who actually is playing the game correctly, uh, and you know, the way I like to play my opponents is I like to force them to make a mistake, let them make a mistake. And when you play someone who plays very careful, like similar to the way that piano plays, or someone like Problem, it's difficult. To get someone to make a mistake but here we go the catch goes to the left tackle and that's a uh, that's a touchdown yeah that's a touchdown so uh, the deflection leads to the left tackle catching the ball and getting seven so okay right all right whatever whatever like that's totally fluke I'm not gonna be mad seven to three uh, but we got the ball say so, okay now we know he gets ball at half I need to take as much clock as I can here and get a score, whether it's three or seven, because I don't want to give him this long extra possession to really take uh, a bigger lead or maybe a two-score lead going into half and getting involved, because at that point, I'd be screwed. So we're just going to play safe. We're going to move the offense exactly how we want. I'm not going to try and do anything special. I'm not going to get too risky here. All I want to do is move the ball. So we go right here and oof, whew, hot one. We got a hot one there. Uh, it was close. It was close, uh, but we did get the hot one to move the ball. We keep moving, and you see right there we get a nice, decently, a de nice decent touchdown run to uh, take the 10-7 lead. But we did leave him a lot of clock. You know, a minute and a half with three timeouts is is an eternity in Madden to be able to move the ball. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I got to hold him to three. I can't let him get anything more than three because at that point, hmm, we're, we're going to be in trouble. But then he does that, and of course we get, <laughs> of course we stumble after we catch the ball. Uh, and so instead of taking it for seven, uh, we have to sort of take the clock down here. But again, this ensures us we're going to have to lead at half, uh, whether it's going to be three, six, or ten at this point, because we're just going to play safe. So I'm just trying to, okay, let's make sure we can get into field goal range at this point, right? Second and nine. Now it's third and four. Again, all I want is field goal range. I'm not trying to get anything else. I don't need anything else because I, I, I can't afford a mistake. I can't afford a mistake. So we pick up the first down there, which puts us in easy field goal range. And uh, we uh, I thought we shanked the kick a little bit there, but we did make it. So we go up 13 to seven and a half. He gets the ball. Right, so we're in an okay spot. If we get a stop, like a total stop, we're in money. If we hold him to three, we're still money. If he scores seven, well, you know, we got we got a little bit of work to do then. We got a little bit of work to do then. Uh, so we get to third down here, right? Big third down. I'm playing very cautious and very safe. But then again, he hits us underneath. Great pass, great read. So I'm just still, I want to keep the ball in front of me. I can't let the ball get behind me. That's the last thing I want. I want you to take as long as you can drive. Give yourself all the chance in the world to mess up. 
and again, we get him to another third down. But this man has been converting damn near all of them, all game long, and, well, there's another one. But of course, he fumbles, he, he picks it up, okay, alright, what's fair is fair, you did that. So I'm thinking, okay here, I see this, the corner out, open. I thought he was going to hit the running back there for sure, uh, but he didn't, but he didn't. So now he's, I mean, he's 100% in field goal range. We just have to get the stop. If we can hold him to three here, this drive is a total win for us. He throws the nice little wide receiver screen, and maybe a PA jailbreak. Uh, and he gets to fourth and one, and he's going to go for it. And so say, okay, I have very good defense at this point on the field. And we get the stop. We get the stop. We clutch up. So, okay, we're up six. We've got ball. If we can just drain clock and get any score... Whether it's three or seven here, we are just going to set ourselves up for money. We might not even need to score if we can get, you know, real clocky out here. So we take the ball into the fourth quarter, up six with ball. Awesome position to be in. And then uh, Tevin Coleman doing what Tevin Coleman does. And he houses that, uh, that, uh, that dive 77 yards. So now we're up 12 in the fourth quarter. Uh, he's got ball. Like, this This is, I mean, this is a lose-lose scenario for our opponents at this point. Because you're going to have to score pretty quickly. And I'm generally not going to let that happen. Right? I mean, good, good, good pass there. Great pass there. But I am going to let you take as much time as you can. And then he throws it right back to me. Uh, just a bad pass, you know. You get a little bit desperate in those times when you're down and losing. Um... So while it's a bad pass, it's probably, it's not something he's going to do very often. That's not a mistake he's going to make every game. It's probably a mistake he makes once every four games, five games. Uh, so we get to the two-minute warning now. It's like, okay, we just need a timeout. We're going to bleed the clock as best as possible here. Uh, just because, you know, we, I want this game to be over. I want this game to be over. So we go for it on fourth and inches here thinking, okay, we just got to, if we get this, it's over. We scramble. We pick it up. That'll be the game. So we take the knees out. He doesn't even use a timeout. So respect to our opponent, Primetime 50G. He's been killing it every week. Uh, very good win for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, I'm CC, and I'm out. Peace.